Yeah, so the background of my change from Scotland to England was basically there was funding available for sportsmen to try and be the best they possibly could be, so funding and support, and I'd never been eligible for it. I, uh, when I was younger, I don't think it was as available, and then after 96, um, the Atlanta Games, it was John Major, whoever the sportsman at the time was, basically said, we need to win more gold, it's good for the country, we need to build up to be better, and sort of what we can see now is the legacy of that in 2012. Um, being so successful and so at that point there was this this new funding available and support available and it was going to be given to the athletes that were going to be the best in the world. I still wasn't eligible for different reasons and it frustrated me because finally the answer was given that was basically that I wasn't eligible because I earned too much and I was like well yeah I earn a lot but I spend nearly all of it on paying for my coach my physio and everyone to come with me I just want to be the best in the world I don't want any cash I just want to be the, the people, the support staff that I needed and the support that I needed to be taken care of so I could then do the best I can. Um, but it was a blanket no. Um, and at the same time, I mean, my two coaches, one was the English national coach who I'd been coached by before, who I still have really good ties with, David Pearson. Neil Harvey was one of his best friends. Um, small world, squash is. Um, people I trained with on the tour and sort of played with and respected and hung out with were a lot of English players. So Lee Beecho was a good example. Chris Walker, Mark and some of the older English guys. And it was just mentioned in, in jest, I think, at the Tournament Champions that, that, oh, that could possibly happen. You've lived in England for a long time, you haven't played for Scotland in the Worlds and so on. And we would, it could potentially happen. And my, my manager and coach Neil Harvey then looked into it a little bit more. He asked me the question, <laughs> would I? And I think I immediately said no. Um, that's not going to happen because you know, I'm very proud of being Scottish where I come from and my family's still here and this is part of who I am. And then the more I thought about it, I just thought as a professional decision, it was just silly. You know, I had to separate the emotional and the professional side and just decide what was best for me. And the only way that I was going to stay at the top and get better, I thought at that time, was to change to England. And it was the best professional decision I've ever made in my life. And it ended up being a great personal decision as well because one of my best friends became Lee Bicho, who we travelled around together, played together. Um, I think I, from what I did and my involvement, and obviously Nick Matthew, James Wallstrop, they were part of that and they were young kids coming through at the time. So I feel like it was a really positive experience. And if I stayed playing for Scotland, I don't know, but I, would, I wouldn't have had the same effect on the next generation. And therefore, I think it's really been a positive thing for everyone involved in the professional game in England that that happened. Um, and it's it, like I said, for me professionally, it was the, the best thing I ever did because it meant I stayed at one for five years. I went on to win numerous major titles again and carry on my career and then finally pay back everything that was um, expected of me in 2002 in 2006 with a double gold.